Chuck, I've been itching to do this explainer for so long. Uh oh. Okay. This is going to be on the Bose Einstein condensate. Okay. Okay. And I bet right. you've been just itching to know about that. Oh, my God. I can't tell you how many sleepless <laughs> nights I have had <laughs> thinking about the Bose, con <laughs> Bose Einstein condensate. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually building a particle collider in my basement because it just means that much to me. No, anyway, I don't even know what it, what is the Bose. Well, well, you've heard of Einstein. Bose was an Indian physicist. Oh! And, and the boson is a type of particle right. that was named in his honor. And you oh. might have heard of the Higgs boson. Yes. It's a different kind of boson. So, right. so here's what's interesting with a Bose-Einstein condensate. It's... Uh, it's a it's a subdivision of condensed matter physics where matter gets very dense and very close to itself, and you, you can do that by reducing the temperature so that the particles don't vibrate as I much. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and as you make it colder and colder and mm. colder okay. and colder. All right. Okay? Now, here's what's going on. Yeah. Okay. It it needs a sweater. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And I have to whisper because it might disturb yes. the particles. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful day here at Augusta. Winds are, <laughs> are slightly out of the west as, uh, as the particles line up on the 18th. And we've, we've got a... <laughs> By the way, something about sweaters. If you're the same temperature as the outside air, a sweater will do nothing. Um, it, has, it, can't, it can't warm you. Wait, if you... Oh, my God. Yes, you're right. Yes. But a, a sweater is not yeah, inherently the sweater, warm. The sweater is just fabric that's an insulator, really. It, it, correct. So if you are warmer than the outside and a, right. then you put on a sweater, it keeps your warmth in you. Right. But if you right. are the same, same temperature, temperature as, the, right. as you said, you got, you got nothing. Your clothing won't do yeah. anything. By the way, I do know, and I hate to say it and don't write, I know a couple women who will put on a sweater when it's 98.6 degrees. Really? Why is, this, why is it so chilly in here? <laughs> no, stop. Okay. Oh, my God, it's so cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, the thermodynamics of men and women uh, yes. have never been the same. Yes. You know they did a study, and they found that women are actually colder. No, it, they did a study and found out that the temperatures in office buildings were specced for men because it was at a time when only men were occupying the office buildings. And so, yeah, the women end up colder. Had they specced it for women, men would be complaining how hot it was. Okay, you're right. Uh, you know, that's why I'm glad I'm a man. No, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Do not write. That is not, that's called a joke. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do not write because I don't. Okay, that would have rocked the house in 1987. It okay? would have, right, okay. right. You know, let's get back. So these particles, you're lowering the temperature. Okay, so in quantum physics, every particle is also a wave. Okay. Holy Jesus. Give me a second, man. Give me a second. Quantum physics, every particle is, is also, also a, wave. a wave. Now, is that because they're vibrating? It's, 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 you want to ask rational questions about a reality that still That's, transcends our common sense. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I'm, all right. So what you're saying here is like, these are things you have to accept by suspending your natural understanding or your understanding of the your world. limited understanding, your limited understanding brought to you by your own five senses, right. honed on the plains of the Serengeti to not right. be eaten by a lion. Right. All right? right. The universe is vastly more complex than that. Gotcha. And involves statements that on the face of it seem seem like they can't counterintuitive. Be true, that but can't they be are true. true. But because your are. intuition is not quantum intuition, right. it's classical intuition. It's, right, yeah, that's what okay. I mean by your natural understanding. N it's natural, the world yeah. around you. Okay. Correct. All right, All right, so now let's get back to this. Every right. particle is a wave on the quantum level. Okay. Correct. All right, and so on the quantum is also a wave. And so you have a jumble of particles, and they're, they're all doing their thing. Mm -hmm. You can look at what wave is associated with them, what wavelength, okay? And they're each doing their thing. Mm -hmm. They're all independent particles. Okay. So let's cool them down. Mm -hmm. As they vibrate less, they have less energy associated with them, and their wavelength grows. Aha. Okay. Okay. All right. So just hang with me now. I just, got you. Just, just, I don't want to lose you. Okay. I'm okay. with you right now. Right now. I okay. Got you. Okay. The characteristic wave of the particle as it slows down, 
okay. begins to grow. Right. Okay. Now, there's a what's called the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Oh, okay. All right. Which is the more you know about a particle's position in space, the less you know about its energy. And the more you know about its energy, the less you know about its position in space. Okay. Okay? Okay. Now, there's a geeky way to get out of a speeding ticket um, where the cop stops you and it says, do you know how fast you were going? And, I, and you just say, no, um, that means I'm everywhere or something. There's <laughs> some stupid quantum, <laughs> okay, that's surely to get the black man shot. Right. And then... <laughs> there you go. That's how that works. <laughs> that's how that works. All right. So anyhow, so you have these particles. And as you cool this material, I'm, when I say cold, I don't mean put it down in the freezer. Yeah, you, I'm talking you, on a like, Kelvin absolute temperature scale where zero is the coldest. We have a whole explainer on that one. Yes, we do. Right? I remember. Right. Yes. You can get down to 10 degrees and right. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, a half a degree, a tenth of a degree, right. a thousandth of a degree. You just keep getting this colder and colder and colder. And the wavelengths of each of these particles gets longer and longer. Right. And you reach a point where all the wavelengths overlap each other for every single particle. Mm -hmm. And they become one. They've condensed. They, 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 they've condensed and become one functioning particle oh nice okay they didn't just condense and become a solid so, thing right, no. no all their waves which used to be separate and distinct are now overlapping and resonating with each other they're the voltron of particles okay i forgot who voltron is who's that that's the one where all the little robots come together to make one big giant yes. robot there it is there it is what 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 movie was that? What what comic book was that? Voltron. Oh, Voltron is the story. Yeah, that's the story. Okay, that is it. Yeah. yeah. So the, so all the particles come together and they become one, one meta particle. A functioning Be meta particle. Meta part correct because they all resonate together at the same time. And Sweet. this is this is why you can't think of matter as only. Uh, particles or waves, all right? Because depending on the situation, they will function as one or the other, and in some cases, both. Wow. And so, oh yeah. And by the way, there's a lot of phenomena. That's so. That's a Bose-Einstein condensate. When it when it cr it's it is, it happens like quick. As you drop the temperature, it transitions. Boom. It's basically a phase change in what it is. It's it's weird to, for us to think that. But is it really any weirder than having a transparent liquid all of a sudden become solid? Right. Not Think really. about it. If you've never been in a freezing temperature right. and someone has a, ha, has a cube of ice, a cube of ice, and you say, what's that? No, you say, it's, it's water. water. They say, no, it's not because I can't drink it and it's not a liquid and it's not Rich! Really nice. <laughs> Rich! <laughs> Rich! <laughs> <laughs> now, why do they only burn the witches and not the warlocks? You know, why, why did they never find the warlock is the question. <laughs> <laughs> so the men had all the power, I guess. Which so I don't understand why every woman, the person who ever, because uh, it's always a guy, right? You know, you, witch. And immediately, if I was a woman, I'd have been like, yes, I'm a witch. He's my warlock. And oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, yeah, totally take that one out. Yeah, yeah right. we're, going, we're going down together, baby. Fight the fire with fire. Fight yeah, fire yeah. with fire. Yeah, yeah. So other phenomena like this, one of them is called superfluidity. You know what that is? The fluid becomes a superfluid, which means if you pass something through it, like your fist, right. there is no resistance to your hand moving through that volume. It just envelops your hand as though nothing is there. Oh, it's super fluidity. Then you can have super conductivity right. where the material offers no resistance to the movement of electricity. So you don't lose any electric power to heat. Okay? And it and you and you have perfect transmission of electricity. And so you can have super conductivity, and from that you can get super conducting magnets, right. which are That's extremely powerful. That's the uh, levitating 
Mattress yeah, yeah, that... you get some of that. You get some of that. Okay, well, you get a maglev train where that would help out. You, it's it, it could be totally happening if you can get superconducting magnets to do that. The problem is you can't cool everything to fractions of degrees above Kelvin. You need sort of high temperature superconductors, high temperature, which would still be very cold. And so it's a whole thing that it's a whole frontier in material science and in physics. Wow. So the point is none of these phenomena make any sense in a classical world. Right. But when you um, bring in uh, quantum forces and put it under those conditions, you need quantum physics to understand it. And so I just, I th just think it's cool that all these particles can condense and, and act as one meta system. And you said it's not Ultron. Who was it? Did you say? Vol Voltron. Voltron is yes. a sum of smaller robots that's acting as a single robot. As a single robot. Yeah. Yep. That's, it's Vol Voltron is a Bose-Einstein condensate. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. right. So there it is. That's, okay. That was quick. No, it was great. Uh, yeah. I, did I just not... We need a healthy respect for quantum physics as we enter the realm of quantum computing, where once again, we exploit the weird, wacky stuff that is normal in quantum physics and is out of, the, out of our life experience from our senses. And so there it is, Chuck. That's okay. Super, that is super duper fly. No, it's super duper conducting. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, speaking of super duper, yeah. we we're going to build the world's largest particle accelerator. And you know how you accelerate particles? Okay, you get a particle with a charge in it, and then you shoot it into a, a magnetic field, okay? And if you vary that magnetic field, you can accelerate the particle, but the particle wants to have its m direction of motion changed. It, go, it starts arcing. So uh, you know exactly how much it's going to arc. You make a tube that's round, and then you alter the magnetic field in that tube to accelerate the particle. This is how every single circular uh, um, uh, particle accelerator works. Okay, And you can only accelerate particles that have charges. can't accelerate neutrons because they don't have charge. Okay, right. That's that joke in the bar. Neutron goes, walks into a bar. Right. Said... Um, uh, uh, neutron walks on a bar and says, I'd like a beer. Uh, so, so here it is. And the neutron says, how much? And the bartender says, for you, no charge. <laughs> That's stupid, stupid. Uh, so just as we go forward, just embrace all that quantum physics brings you and don't try to question it. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you, you can't because you're, yeah. you're questioning it from a foundation that is not the world in which of laws that govern quantum phenomena. So you just have to grow accustomed to quantum physics. If anyone says, I understand it now. No, you don't. Right. Just, uh, no, no. It just yeah. is. Right. It just is. That's great. All right, dude. This has been another explainer. That was amazing. You have weird, wacky things on the frontier of quantum physics. And weird, what it does. wacky things. <laughs> yes. That was uh, uh, Johnny Carson would say weird and wacky things. You are yeah. correct, sir. <laughs> yeah, you got it. All right, Chuck. Always good to have you. Always a pleasure. All right. This has been another Star Talk explainer. Keep looking up.